How we doing, how we doing? This is Destination Denver, Colorado, and today, one of my favorites, living in Lakewood, Colorado, why it's one of the best places in all of Denver to live, and we're starting right now. All right, this is Destination Denver, Colorado. I'm your host, Jimmy Everts, and listen, if you're interested in learning all the ins and outs, pros and cons, moving to or around Denver, Colorado, then this is a channel for you. So the subscribe button and notification icon popping up on your screen, make sure you click on those as I'm dropping new videos for you each and every week. And listen, as much as I pretend to be a little creative here on camera, I'm also a licensed mortgage broker covering the entire state of Colorado and team with some of Denver's most talented realtors. So the number and email on your screen, know that I'm always the person. Answer your phone calls, answer your texts, answer your emails, there when and if you need me. Now that we have that fun-filled stuff out of the way, let's get to what we're here for, and that is living in Lakewood, Colorado, and why it's so darn fantastic. All right, so if this is one of the first times you and I have interacted, I have to give you a quick disclaimer, and that is the fact that I grew up in Lakewood. I currently live in Lakewood. Uh, I did leave Colorado for 12 years, eight of them in the military, but came back in 2008. Lakewood has been home for basically the majority of my life. So I do have a little homer bug, but we're still gonna talk about why it's a pretty fantastic place to live. So Lakewood uh, borders Denver. We are just west of the city. Uh, you could basically cross your street and be in Denver, or you could be up to, let's say, 25 minutes drive time with some traffic away from uh, the heart of Denver. And while Lakewood is that close to Denver, and while some of its structures and some of its buildings were created well beforehand, Lakewood itself was not incorporated as a city until 1969. So it is actually one of the newer cities in Colorado history. But while we are new, we are mighty. Not really. So Lakewood's population sits at a little over 155, 156,000. And that's not because it is densely put together. Lakewood is, as you've seen on the map, a pretty large city. Uh, you could call it a suburb, you call it a town, whatever, but it's pretty large geographically. So it covers a lot of territory, a lot of homes that were at one point part of Denver, became Lakewood. And so that is, uh, again, why it's fifth largest in all of Colorado. The other thing I should mention is that Colorado is not known for having a lot of large cities. We just don't. After you get past Denver, Colorado Springs, and Aurora, which are the top three, everything else is, is right around that 150,000 mark. And then you, you get into a lot of towns and suburbs that are sitting around 30, 40, 50,000. So Lakewood being the fifth largest uh, don't expect to visit there and go, wow, this is this is quite the city, because that's not the case. So as I mentioned, Lakewood being west of Denver, uh, it is, it's gonna stretch right from the border of Denver, heading west until it hits uh, Golden and then into the foothills. So Lakewood is really long going north to south, and then obviously there's only so much area as you move west before you get into places like Golden, places like Morrison, and then the mountains themselves. And so what you'll see is some of the homes as you get closer to Denver, you're gonna see homes that were built in the early-ish 1900s, uh, a lot of them 40s and 50s, so not like turn of the century, uh, but many of those homes were originally Denver, became Lakewood. As you start moving farther and farther west, the neighborhoods become newer, or as people like to remind me now as I age, older. Uh, the communities that I grew up in uh, started to be built in the 1970s, 1980s, meaning they were brand new when I was a baby, but I'm not a baby anymore. Uh, and so one thing that we're, we're gonna talk about a, a lot of the, the good and bad things about Lakewood, uh, one of the knocks on Lakewood is that there is not a lot of new construction. There's not a lot of newer homes. You're gonna get into these communities where the homes are, even on the newer end, 40 to 50 years old or older. And Lakewood, just on a side note to make sure I cover this point, the city council of Lakewood has also passed a, a pretty interesting law that is hotly debated by residents, uh, it's, it's the 1% rule. So essentially, Lakewood will only okay new construction of homes uh, to be, uh, the total number of homes that can be built in a year is 1% 
of the existing homes already there. So because of this limitation, you don't see a ton of new construction based both on that limitation and also the lack of space. Lakewood's been around, uh, again, I know incorporated recently, but Lakewood has been around a long time. There's only so much room until you run into the mountains. And so between those two rules, you'll just see a limited amount of new construction. So I'm saying all these bad things about Lakewood, let's talk about all the amazing things. So Lakewood is home to, uh, they say, 100 parks. Technically, I think it's 99, but we'll call it 100 parks. So among these parks, the ones that you're gonna hear really the most about, uh, Bear Creek Lake Park to the south, huge. It's got a couple, couple golf courses on it, obviously Bear Creek Lake, a lot to explore there. And then William Hayden or Green Mountain Park, uh, which, is the area of Lakewood that I grew up in. A uh, ton of hiking trails, running trails, bike trails. Does have rattlesnakes when it gets hot and dry. Gotta make sure I mention that because I've gone for a run and run into a couple before. Uh, but you're talking 11,000 acres of open land uh, and one of the best views you're going to see. So, you know, Green Mountain is, is basically right on the edge of the mountains. You're not, you're in the foothills, but you're not into the mountains. So if you take a hike up Green Mountain, great sunsets, a, a great view of downtown Denver, just an amazing place to check out. And then a ton of little parks in between. You got Jefferson, AKA Rocket Ship Park, uh, right by my neighborhood where I grew up, uh, Adam Brook Park, we call it goose shit park, but don't judge me for that. It's just a lot of geese and geese like to poo. And so a, a ton of different places to check out. You cannot uh, run out of park space in Lakewood. As far as schools, Lakewood is part of Jefferson County School District. Uh, they get pretty high ratings as far as niche.com. Uh, you can judge you know, my intelligence. I mean, I occasionally found the schools I was supposed to go to. I wasn't the best, uh, but uh, some of my favorites, obviously, went to, went to Green Mountain High School myself, Dunstan Middle School, great place. And behind Dunstan Middle School is one of the coolest gullies, this, this gulf of, of land with, uh, with just like hiding spots, and trees and, and bridges, just a great place for kids to explore and get in various levels of trouble. I'll let you judge me for that later. And then two of our rivals that are not too far from me now, Lakewood High School just down the street and Alameda High School just to my south. Now we mentioned Lakewood not having a lot of new construction, but one of its most popular areas for people to explore and to live in is called Solterra. So as we move west, uh, getting out of Colorado, you're gonna run into a cross section of Alameda and Jewel, two major streets that actually run the same way, but eventually Alameda curves around and they cross. And just west of that, is Solterra. So Solterra has this really great uh, Tex-Mex. It's got like this Santa Fe vibe to it as far as the, the builds, the new construction you're gonna see. Some truly gorgeous homes. It's got an amazing clubhouse and as you pull into this community, it's tucked away. When I was a kid, again, I get old, old, old school on people, but when I was a kid, there was nothing there. It was just open fields, trees. It was a place that, you know, as a young boy with friends, we would go and explore. And then Solterra started to be built uh, basically in the, in the late 1990s-ish. And if you're gonna talk about new construction, that's where you're going to see more and more of it. Solterra continues to work its way west and, and kind of now south is where you're seeing a lot of this construction. Gorgeous homes. Uh, there are some townhomes, apartments within that, but a lot of detached homes. Um, one thing of note within Solterra, because it's new construction and because there's a lot of amenities, the clubhouse, there's shops down there, all of these different things, you're going to find that the properties have an HOA, all of them, those HOAs do vary, and the property taxes, specifically in Solterra, are significantly higher than you will find anywhere else in Lakewood. But for those who can deal with it, uh, you're not gonna find cooler homes for the most part than what you'll find in Solterra. One random knock on Solterra is just across C470, the, uh, a highway from Solterra, is Bandemir Speedway drag races. So Bandemir has been around forever, long before they ever thought about building Solterra. But the folks that live in Solterra like to complain about the fact that these drag races occur at Bandemir. Now, I don't know where to feel about that debate. I'm not a big drag racing fan myself. 
However, I know Bandamere has been around for a long time. Word on the street, though, is that Bandamere, the drag strip, is about to go away anyway and become developments of some other sort, uh, whether that's shops, new living, scenarios, townhomes, apartments, things of that nature. So this one complaint that Solterra has may be going away anyway. And so some of the things that I love about Lakewood is I think that Lakewood really caters to a variety of living styles. So uh, one of these like minor knocks of Lakewood is that it doesn't have a downtown. It doesn't have a, a central area like a Littleton, uh, one of our neighboring suburbs has. Arvada has an old town, downtown Arvada. You know, Littleton has its downtown stretch. Lakewood doesn't really have that. Lakewood does have an area called Belmar, uh, very close to where I live now. And Belmar gives you that walkable you know, neighborhoods of shops and restaurants and cafes and different places. And around Belmar are some of the most desired, we talk about Solterra being very desirable, so is Belmar because you'll have uh, a lot of townhomes, condos, and apartments within that. The areas surrounding Belmar will have some detached homes, but for the most part within that community, you're gonna find attached residences, townhomes, condos, apartments. But Belmar gives you the closest thing Lakewood has to a downtown feel. But when I talk about Lakewood catering to a variety of lifestyles, well, you have a, a town that is very close to downtown Denver. So if you're into that city living, it's very easy to get in and out of Denver to go down there for your restaurants, your museums, the zoo, sporting events, all of those things. At the same time, if you're a big mountain person, it is a quick jump on 6th Avenue, or if you're in South Lakewood, you jump on 285, and you can rapidly, within 10 to 15 minutes, be into the Front Range and be into the mountains. I've timed it before. From the time I get out of the mountains, heading back in towards Lakewood, 15 minutes to my house, and I'm kind of on the Eastern side of Lakewood, if you will, so 15 minutes I can be in canyons in the front range. And I think that you get a lot of people that are a hybrid, right? Where they're not just mountain people and they're not just city people, they like to have access to both. In my humble opinion, Lakewood gives you some of that, the best balance you're going to get by being able to enjoy both of those scenes on any given day. And it's also one of those fluid places where I've had friends come into town where we head up to the mountains for the day, we go up to a brewery, maybe to one of the ski resorts, what have you, we're up there for a while, we come back down, get reset, and then we head into the city for a sporting event, a concert, what have you. And even though it's not part of Lakewood, anybody who makes a video about Lakewood, talks about Lakewood, thinks about Lakewood, is going to mention Red Rock. So we are extremely close to Morrison, which is one of the coolest little mountain towns uh, you're gonna find. It's on the Front Range, so Morrison is not that far from, from Denver itself, but within Morrison is Red Rock's amphitheater. Uh, even if you don't wanna live in Colorado, you need to at some point come to Red Rocks and just check it out. And it's not just one of the greatest places or sometimes voted the greatest place on earth to see a music show, a concert, music show, I sound like my grandparents, a concert. They also have a lot of uh, different events there. As an example, they have Movie on the Rocks where they put up a big screen uh, and show some classic movies for people to watch throughout the summer. Uh, they will have Yoga on the Rocks, get a bunch of people out on a Saturday or Sunday morning, have a bunch of people, namaste and out there and then uh you go to red rocks just about any day and i and i would say with good weather but this is colorado and people get a little nuts about their fitness but red rocks is also one of the most popular places for people to go to work out they will run the stairs they'll do push-ups they'll do all sorts of stuff and it is even if you're not into working out it's one of the best people watching experiences you will ever have because the people that get into their fitness there are hilarious although i do wonder sometimes if some of them are going to die i've seen people racing down those stairs like sideways and shit blindfolds on i don't know death defying stuff but uh, red rocks there there are so many reasons to go and explore there and again even though it's not part of lakewood we just kind of consume it because we're so darn close and uh, while I'm mentioning things to do, and I was mentioning parks earlier, I have, to, I have to mention Belmar Park, which 
basically neighbors my house. I'm very close to Belmar Park. So uh, Belmar Park has a couple different festivals through the year, one of its biggest being a cider festival. Within Belmar, they'll also have an Italian festival. I wish they would bring it to this side of Wadsworth, but within Belmar, great Italian festival. Cider Fest though, uh, is something you just have to check out. So many people obviously drinking a lot of different cider. Uh, they'll have barbecue galore, and Denver is not the best barbecue place, but that day, the grillers show up. And it's one of those days where you get the big old turkey leg, you feel like you're in a Game of Thrones episode without somebody you know chasing you with a big sword, but you get to eat the turkey bone. It's fantastic. And then around the holidays, uh, super cute. There are bigger light shows in Denver to go explore, but Belmar does a really great neighborhood light show. They put up a ton of lights. Uh, you know, a bunch of volunteers come out and do it. And it's a great thing to get out, whether you're doing it with family, doing it with a significant other, doing it with friends, or obviously, you know, doing it with the kiddos. Uh, just a great event very neighborhood friendly. And it's also home to the Bear Creek Lake Triathlon, which I have been asked about multiple times, and I'm just gonna go out on a limb and tell you I have not done it yet, but I probably should. I could get some like peer pressure from comments on this video telling me to do the Bear Creek Lake Triathlon. You know, we'll get there someday. In fact, I just helped someone buy a townhome on the other side of Belmar Park. He can see my house, basically. I can see his house, basically. I walk my dogs by his place every day. It's just a fantastic place to live. And if you'd like to hear more about it, I'd love to have a conversation with you about it. So the number and email popping up on my screen, know that your screen, my screen, our screen, know that I'm always the person answering your phone calls, answering your texts, answer your emails, there when and if you need me. This is Destination Denver, Colorado. I am your host, Jimmy Everts. This was Living in Lakewood, Colorado. Why it's so darn fantastic. Until I see you next time, peace.